Hello, flight simmers. We are sitting here in the Majestic Dash 8 Q400, and I want to jump over to the web to show you. Oops, wrong one. Our flight plan is from Tbilisi up to Moscow. And it is Domodiev, Domodiev, something like that. So I haven't even looked at the weather. Maybe we probably should do that. Huh? Probably could just do it through Active Sky next. But let's turn off these weather stations because it gets laggy trying to move it around. And where is Moscow? Poland. There it is. Let's zoom in on it. And this airport should be to the south of it. I've actually found it easier. So there's another UUMO. DME. What is... I don't think that's an actual airport name. Uh, let's take a look at Sky Vector real quick. See where it is relative... Yeah, this is UUDD. Looks like it might be the southeast. Yeah, see, there's another airport down there. SOV. Well, let's try this. UUDD. Well, you know what? The weather's going to be. There's UUMO there again. All right, well, let's just see what the weather stations say. There it is. Great. Got a virus. We'll have to run that stuff after we're done. Okay, so ATC, I'm kind of going to give up on that. Hopefully, I just want to see the traffic 360 working. And all the waypoints there seem to make a lot of sense. Now, the next thing I want to do, even though I don't, I don't have much faith in it, is we have a, a plan, but I want to load this plan which is one I just downloaded and find route see it's just not the same it, it's just taking us different ways for some reason so when it generates it for flight sim it generates a different one but we will put 27,000 so there's a good chance we'll go off of IFR you know and I can even yeah you know, I can even come in here and hit load open and see how that's the flight plan. But then for some reason, even if I save it. And then let's cancel. I come back up here. So if somebody knows how to fix this, please let me know. And I come back right in and just say find route. Oh, this time it saved. Let's, uh... Oh, now look, that's like direct. flight panner there you go find route see it changes it so I'll load it again right there open look nice smooth straight course seems I don't know it seems like it should be in there at that point but you know it just doesn't go that way So we'll see. So if they start yelling at me, I'm just going to fly all the FMS on the computer until we get close. Which is fine, as long as we get there, I guess. But it would be nice to kind of have that stuff jive with each other. Alright, so we want to put our fuel on board while we're on this screen. Let me 
zoom in a bit. So three six eight five in each tank. I'm sorry, three eight six five. So it'd be seventy six hundred plus another hundred and thirty is going to be seventy nine eighty nine. On board, 79. All right, so we got a hundred, uh, 874 miles to go, and looks like we should have a good amount of fuel for it. Let's get rid of this for a second. Let's go to Kneeboard, Open Document, and we're going to open up our checklist. And no matter where I put the checklist, it gets in my way, but that's okay. We'll start going down it. Let's go to the top page and hit Shift E, and that will open up the doors. Or at least the main door. And I'm going to put the main bus to tie position. Let's turn on the position lights. Let's make sure the parking brakes are on. Control locks up. Turn the radio. Oop. Yeah, batteries are on. They're always on. Turn the radios on. Uh, except request GPU. It's already there. And we already have external power. See the green bar right there. Uh, put the system, the doors, and then we want to switch this one so it stays on the electrical thing. Otherwise, they both show the door display here. I'm just waiting for the last of the luggage to load on board, then uh, we'll be able to get underway in a few minutes. I'll be having right. a time So, let's keep moving on. Set landing altitudes, which means we're going to have to figure out how far away or how high Moscow is. Acceleration altitudes. We're 1,600 feet here at 587. So I'm going to put this on 1,590. Let's get rid of this so we can see. Kind of get used to in this plane the fact that nothing like races for it after you hold the button down for a little bit. So I'm not quite sure what the acceleration altitude's about. I think I've said that every video. And we'll put on our landing altitude. It's just 600 or 500. I guess we'll try 600. And we'll put both engines to normal. We'll turn on our recirculation fan. Adjust the temperatures so it's not freezing. Yeah. Uh, recirculation fan on. Bleed air to minimum. Passenger signs on. Fuel cutoff. Oh, these are in the off position. I don't think that's the fuel cutoff. Someday I'll have to find if there's different fuel cutoff switch someplace that I haven't ever noticed. And demisters are down over here, so we'll open up both of those. No steering off for pushback. Flight taxi switch is in the taxi position. Turn the yaw damper on. Anti-skid on. Control lock is on. Condition. And there's another case where it won't, it's not giving me the choice to do IFR. <laughs> if you notice, we, we switched to ground. So, I don't know why it does that. It just doesn't like it doesn't like that flight plan for some reason when I try to jam it in there. So, like I said, that was one of the reasons I was looking for a new air traffic control. But air the 
know that for sure. So we've got our flight plan entered. We've got our fuel entered. Uh, we're not going to use SID and Rival Star. I'd like to, but ATC will fight with it too much. Not that it's not already fighting with me. So maybe one of the all that. Altitude of, let's say, control as well. And now that once we see that the door is closed, which should turn green, you might be able to see that. I am going to switch this back F MDF1 to nav1 mode. And we're done with page one. So let's go to page two. So let's get our anti-collision. Oops, turn to red. Make sure that our APU is not running. It's not. Auxiliary power unit. And they're talking about request the pushback and then start the engines. I'm going to go ahead and turn the transponder on. Yep, on already. Arc due to FMS mode. Power, Alitalia 550, ready to copy IFR clearance. Yumi, Alitalia 550, clear to Yumi. Let's do the uh, pushback now, which is going to be here as well. See, they're talking about start the engine number one, so I, I don't understand the conflict here. But I got my flaps down to 10, so I don't forget. I can turn off the control. Turn auto feather on. Auxiliary fuel pumps. And auxiliary hydraulics here. No steering back on. And we want to put the weather radar to standby. Transponder is on already. And Arc 2 is in FMS mode. I think I jumped down the list there. So we got our taxi lights on. Control lock off. Flight controls. I like to check them before I move. There's ailerons to the left, to the right. Elevators. Up, down. Rudder, left, right. Let's turn the yoke back on so you guys can see what's happening. And we have our heading bug going this way. So we're going to be taking off. We're going to request straight out. following that guy out. So we got the traffic 360 and it seemed to be working for a bit the issue but say stream is resumed so something happened to block it i turned off the antivirus i apologize again <laughs> let me start the game back up here oops Cargo lock seven nine or eight four. We value is correct. Contact ground on 
Flaps, we got everything, so. Clear for takeoff, runway 31, right, Romeo, Echo, Victor, Echo, Romeo. Yeah. Up. Romeo, Echo, Victor, Echo, Romeo, you are leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. Well, Airbus uniform, hello, Charlie. Climb and maintain one two thousand. Temperature safe approach. Romeo, Echo, Victor. See, I don't think this guy's going to stay with us. Put it on now since we're so close right here anyway. Let's put this up so you guys can see it. So let's do our after takeoff gear up, connect the uh, flaps, autopilot engage, IS, put 205, climb a little bit steeper than they're recommending, uh, condition levers, we'll put them down to 900, kind of high enough above those mountains, we should be in good shape. Ice protection as required. We're still at 12 Celsius, so we'll leave that go for the moment. Weather radar on. And we can turn off our standby hydraulics, auxiliary fuel, and auto feather. Protection as required. Mark do chime. Power lever before leveling off. So once we get to 10,000. Alright, so let's uh, hide that. Romeo, Echo Victor, Echo Romeo. Contact to PC Center on 127.1. Point one. Get all our lights off. Well, except for the anti collision and the position lights. we 
go. Yeah, so it seems something's going on to drop the stream in and out. Cause it looks like it just dropped again. I yeah, can't pay attention to it all the time. Anymore. How does it look otherwise? Like dead or, and I even put it on. Let's see. Make sure. Yeah, optimize for less, fewer buffering. So, 30 second delay. So, I'm either just trying to stream too much. Or some issue with the internet connection between here and there. It doesn't appear to be that the recording software is having any issue. Oops. What did I do? Sorry about that. Let's move our... Let's open this up for a second and shrink it down a tiny bit. You guys can get a better idea where we're at in the flight. Make it kind of small, hopefully big enough you can see it. Alright, so what I like to do at this point too is change. We're going to be flying in this direction more or less for quite a bit, so I'll put this heading select more or less in line with with the waypoints. That way, if we don't have to switch over to heading, it'll keep us going more or less straight. Alright, so let's get all the way up there now. 270. Yes, bring that back down to 250. Actually, I want to bring it down to 195. Get up there a little bit more of a hurry than normal. Instruction for what does that mean? So the rest is just a big old cruise to Moscow, more or less. I hope. So our airspeed, ground, I mean ground speed's 246. We want to look at our, let's take a look at the weather. And winds are off to port. Does that. I think it conflicts a bit with the. And this does certain things. It blocks this from opening properly. Yeah, just making sure there's not a huge difference. You know, I don't want to drop down to 1,800 feet necessarily, especially not coming over these mountains here. Let's, uh, I am going to switch this FMS to. So there's FMS2 right there, and I switch it over to nav, and then I have to jump over to the co-pilot seat. There we go. And if I come down here and hit this terrain, there you go. So now let me jump back to the pilot seat. see our terrain. I was just curious. Yeah, look, 15,000 feet on uh, one of these. Now this, I tried at the other flight to transfer the flight plan from the one to the other and didn't have a whole lot of success. Why don't we put this one on uh, now that I came back over here? Yeah, I 
just can't see that from here. There we go. Uh, let's go. So this one's on weather now. Let's put this one on terrain. Should come up in a second. Yeah, 16,000 feet. Point being, I didn't want to drop down too low just for the sake of those mountains. Well, guys, I guess we'll be pretty much in Europe here, won't we? It's been, been a good number of flights so far. Back open. No ice, and I don't see hardly anything for clouds, so I'll assume we're okay with that for the moment. get up to altitude I will fast forward time 16 until we get close to Moscow so 15,000 foot some nice pretty mountains flying over the world is an amazing place now look at all the clouds on the other side of these mountains. Back behind us it's deserty and can't tell what it is besides cloudy up ahead but Fast forward, we'll start it off slow until we get up there. Once we get up to altitude, I will come over here and we'll set our props to min. And that's close enough. There we go, so props to 850 way with doing this and fast forward I hope. Okay, things I want to do is click on this. So we have 803 miles. We make a good time. And let's just make sure this tops out. It usually does on its own. Though the pressure is a little bit higher so you tend to get a little faster. I don't tend to turn down the throttles unless, unless that keeps creeping up, which it's doing. The higher the barometric pressure, the more 
oxygen and air can get to to the engines. So you're gonna have to back those off or you're gonna stop it. 241. So we got a ground speed of 364, pretty nice. I think I'm just going to back down here. Yeah, so it's starting to back off. So let's go to speed up time 16. Until we get close. Forty mile per hour winds from the basically from the west to the east, which means not the worst case. And I can see the stream is now suffering again, buffering. Yeah, I really don't know that it's anything on my end per se. a whole lot when it's doing that. Yeah, I can see it's all choppy. And it's just smooth on my end. It's just not working. I wonder if Twitch would do better. Yeah, this has been, would be pretty convenient if it worked out better. But, you know, looking at it now, it stopped, it started. not working very well. Technology is failing me. Let's double check this real quick. You know, it's not saying anything dropped. It seems to be going along fine. I'm not getting any messages about CPU overload or anything like that. It's just smooth as silk on my end. I guess I could try, if I shut off the viewing, I won't know if it's working at all, so I sort of have to be able to see and... ...even tell if I'm having a problem. Yeah, so I think with the uh, issues of the uploading, I don't know, do I go back to just trying to record mega episodes? It's not necessarily a problem for me just to record and upload the whole thing. It's not like that many of you are commenting on the videos anyway, as a general thing. To, to the, from finish to end, so to speak. Looks like we've got some clouds ahead of us here. Thank 
tank spike. Yeah, that's just FSX does that, especially when I'm fast forwarding this much. And we're flying through some weather. So yeah, I think I may go back to recording this locally. Again, it's not like, you know, there's a ton of people watching it and commenting and if you guys are enjoying it, you can always comment on the videos and I'll respond in the next episode or Okay, because if this thing's so choppy it's you can watch it. I know if I was on the other end of the thing when I've seen choppy videos it's it's not not worth it, but and to be honest I'd rather not lose the you know, the higher HD quality at that point. So yeah, maybe after this one's done, and, I, and then I can record things whenever I want. Not worry about what's a good time or a bad time. I can just put it up there, you guys watch it. But we'll keep going the way we are. And hopefully it'll, uh, you know, see now it says resumed. slowing down on the, uh, the in-game fast forwarding. We'll give it another second or two here. That should be good. And I see the stream is once again cutting out. So I think what I'm going to do for the sake of once I get this fast forward done I am going to just record it locally. So sorry this didn't work out, guys. It's fine on my end. We'll see. I'll just record it live. I'll record it and just put it up ASAP. Let's keep slowing down. Alright guys, I'm going to switch over to recording locally. I hope you enjoyed the stream, and I will put the remainder of this video up very shortly. As soon as I get the chance to process it. So, let me uh, stop this.